One item that I find that I can't live without when I go on a trip, doesn't matter if you're overlanding or if you're just going for, you know, a leisurely road trip or a weekend camping excursion, and that is a well-stocked first aid kit. Now, the kit that I have right here, I purchased empty, and it costs $12.99 on Amazon. And I had all the equipment from a previous kit that I decided to put into here. I just wanted something larger. This kit is a perfect size. It's about 12 inches wide uh, by about 9 inches deep and about 5 to 6 inches tall. It has a large storage compartment in the center, two smaller storage compartments on the outside, each with double zippers. The bag itself is constructed of very heavy material, durable material, with a couple carry straps. Now what you carry in your first aid kit is going to be your personal choice. You may have someone who's a diabetic and you may want to keep supplies for insulin, that type of thing, in your kit or you may have someone that needs to have an EpiPen handy. Um, with mine, I just carry just some basic items, and at the end of this video, I will place a list from the American Red Cross as to the suggested items to put into a first aid kit for four people. As you can see, I have my equipment in separate containers. This one in particular has um, all of the antiseptic wipes, antibacterial wipes, that type of thing. Easy to grab, easy to see what's inside. In this one, I have a variety of bandages and band-aids from the uh, fabric flexible bandages for knuckles to um, two inch by two inch gauze pads and everything in between. I also carry a digital thermometer. And a spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Small bottle of hand sanitizer. And I also carry an extra set of fingernail and uh, toenail clippers. In the side compartment, I carry a cold compress and an emergency blanket. Over in this other side compartment, I carry bandage scissors, a hemostat, and a variety of tweezers. Okay, in this side compartment, I have a variety of different ointments like zinc oxide, Vaseline, And this is probably one of my best investments. This is a set of tweezers with a magnifier glass built into it. Great for removing splinters. And I also have two different tick removal kits. These were free from our local health department. This one happens to have a vial for putting your specimen in and an identification card to find out what kind of tick it is. And it also included a small set of tweezers here. I carry a set of large non-latex gloves. Some cotton swabs. And like I said, just a variety of, of other type of um, creams and lotions. 
Okay, over in this pocket, I carry a couple of elastic bandages. some roll gauze, some larger roll gauze packages, and some tape. Well, as you can see, my first aid kit fits perfectly on the floor behind the driver's seat. It's uh, very easily accessible in case of a uh, first aid emergency. It contains everything that I need at least for right now I may change it out later on and that's exactly what you need to do you need to outfit your first aid kit with things that are specialized to you whether it's an EpiPen insulin those type of items but at the end of this video I'll provide a list from the American Red Cross that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what to stock in your first aid kit that will uh, provide supplies for up to four people. If you like this video, please click on that like button. Even better, please subscribe.